Kali Linux 2022.2 is here, the second quarter release, and we'll review the distro and what's included in the updates, starting with testing out things in Kali's GNOME desktop today instead of the XFCE desktop, which is their default. As you may already be able to tell, there's a few updates and the most noticeable changes were made here on the GNOME desktop, which has been updated at GNOME 42. And the main thing, and what you'll notice the most, is these rounded edges now across the desktop. You'll notice them across all sorts of apps, including but not limited to the calendar. And over here on the right-hand side to access your settings, volume control, and the rest of the stuff. And also here on the right corner where you can access your wired or wireless connection, various different settings, and your volume control. And I gotta say, it's looking pretty sleek. We can kind of look around things. You'll notice it's really being applied to almost everything, including the dock below. And what I want to do is launch settings so we can kind of look at that. I bet you that's redesigned. So basically their entire shell has been redesigned so we can see these wonderful round edges. I think it makes it look a little more modernized. And I've been using the XFCE default version for quite a while now. I'm thinking maybe I should go over to the GNOME for a bit, but we'll check out the resource usage first, which will really make the decision for me in a bit here. And with GNOME 42 now, the screenshot tool has been updated. So if you search for screenshot, you can take a screenshot with the new tool. It looks quite great with a new modern design at the bottom. And you can select whatever you want, including the entire screen or a specific window and whether you want to record or just take a picture. If you wanna show your pointer, you can turn it on and off through this button over here. And finally, if you take a picture of the actual screenshot tool itself, it won't show you the tool because it's smart enough to move itself out of the way. Many GTK apps were updated with GNOME 42, so I'm sure you'll see some of those updates here and there throughout the desktop environment. XFCE hasn't seen too, too much, but there have been app icon redesigns. And in the terminal, let's go check that out real quick. According to Kali, there have been changes to the ZSH syntax highlighting in the colors, so things are a little more predominant like this right here. There's some space in between now, and the coloring scheme is much different than what it was before. Everything before seemed bland. Basically, if I highlight the changes, all of this would have been white completely, no blue, and then there wouldn't have been this space here or this space as well. So it makes things much easier to see. Some of the packages where this redesign is most noticeable is with Word, Lists, Windows, Resources, and Power Exploit. You'll see much better and much better improvement in output in the ZSH shell. Now I want to install a pretty cool screensaver. So I'm gonna do that with the install of Kali screen saver. And we can activate that screen saver pretty quickly by installing another package. Let me get the Hollywood activate package and let's run it for a surprise here. All right, check this out. It's like we're editing the records of a person's grades in college or perhaps high school taking over the system all with Kali Linux. Although this was an April Fool's joke when it first started to trick people. Instead, everybody enjoyed it so much they wanted to keep it around and now you can keep it forever by activating it. And this is also available for both Mac OS and Windows. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. It'll be in the release blog post. Before we override everything here, it says we've already gained access to all sorts of things here. Since this system's currently getting faked hacked, let's talk about some of the new tools or tools that have been updated here. So new tools in Kali Linux. Let's go through these real quick. We have Brute Shark, which is a network forensic analysis tool. We have Evil WinRM, Ultimate Win WinRM Shell, Hackrawler, a web crawler designed for easy, quick discovery of endpoints and assets, HTTPX fast and multi-purpose HTTP toolkit, Laps Dumper dumps LAPS passwords, PHP exploit, stealth post exploitation framework, PE dump dumped Win32 executable files, Century Peer SIP peer to peer honeypot for VoIP, Sparrow, Wi Fi graphical Wi Fi analyzer for Linux, and Finally, Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, a powerful framework for rogue access points. 
a ton of new tools as expected in quarter two of Kali Linux 2022. And now let's check out the resource usage here in Kali Linux with GNOME 42. But before we do, are you ready to start learning about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's a link below. If we go into terminal and we start up HTOP, let's check out the resource usage real quick. Currently the CPUs jump in between zero to two percent. We only have around two gigs available of memory, but it's only using around 805 with this desktop, which is kind of impressive considering most Linux distros with version 42 GNOME have used significantly more than 800 megs of memory, even on for startup, as you can tell, we've only been up for two minutes. Some Linux distributions with GNOME 42 have used as much as 1.3 gigs. So that's a great benefit here in Kali. The tasks currently running are 105, 239 threads, 79 kernel threads, and a ton of processes in the background. Next, let's look at system information using NeoFetch. We're currently running Kali Linux on kernel 5.16 Linux, an optimized Kali image. We've been up for about two minutes. There's 2,604 source packages. It's using ZSH as a default shell version 5.8. GNOME 42 desktop with the window theme Kali Dark. The default terminal is the GNOME terminal and this is being emulated on an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X series with currently 800 megs out of the two gigabytes being used. And since the dark theme is currently the one set, let's check out the light theme as well and what that looks like. And with the shell changed over to the light theme, it looks pretty good as well. Some things haven't changed quite over, like the background of this workspaces view. I probably need to restart things in order to get everything changed over on the shell into the light mode, but a pretty easy change there. You can always use tweaks, which is installed by default here to change up some of your appearance. You can also do this in settings. I always appreciate having this tool in order to further customize my GNOME desktop environment. All of our favorite applications are still here. A ton of vulnerability, ethical hacking, and pen testing tools. We won't go through all of them. You can look at a previous review of mine if you want to review some of the tools that are located in Kali Linux. Today we're just going through the update to 2022.2 and that's really it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.